Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at the Sync Cut Detection tool inside of DaVinci Resolve. This is a really convenient tool that will quickly and effectively cut up a self-contained video file to enable you to start grading it on a per clip basis. So this is a project I worked on a few years ago. As you can see, the video is ungraded and it has been exported as a self-contained MOV. First thing I need to do is right click and select Scene Cut Detection. I will now see a new interface floating on top of the media page, which will be the Scene Detect window. The layout is really simple. You've got three viewers on top. The viewer in the center represents your current location in the timeline. The viewers on the left and right show you the previous frame and the next frame. So ideally, when you're on an edit point, you should see a different image on the left-hand side and a similar image on the right-hand side. Underneath, we've got a graph that will show us all the cuts as they're automatically detected by the software. And on the right-hand side, we've got a cut list, which will act a bit like an EDL and demonstrate where the cuts have occurred. So let's click on the Auto Scene Detect button. At the bottom, I've got a bar demonstrating the analysis as it occurs. And as the software finds the cuts, it will drop these green lines to indicate where it thinks there's a cut. On top of that, you'll also see that the cut list has become populated with 39 instances of what DaVinci Resolve considers our cuts. So I can click on any one of these and demonstrate that yes, different image on the left, similar image on the right, that's definitely a cut point. You can continue to navigate the cut list using the up and down arrow keys and quickly confirm that the cuts are indeed placed on the right clips. If something turns out not to be a cut, you can click on the delete button in the bottom left hand corner. Likewise, you can use the playhead to scrub through your video and if you find that the interface has failed to detect a cut where one has occurred, like here, then you can click on the Add button to introduce a cut. Version 12 of DaVinci Resolve has become pretty good at identifying dissolves and recognizing that they're not cuts. Regardless, if you have a series of cuts that are placed above a dissolve, you can choose to indicate with in and out points to identify a larger area of what you believe are not cuts, and then simply click on Prune to remove that dissolve. Whereas the green lines indicate cut points, the purple horizontal line indicates the confidence of the cuts. So if I have a video with many fast cuts, for example, or jump cuts, the software might choose to play it safe and ignore them as cut points. In that case, you might want to grab this purple line and bring it down to then include these less confident cuts in the final cut list. If you're working on a very long project, something like a short film, you might find that you need more than one session to work on the scene detection. In which case, you can click in the options menu in the top right corner and choose to save the scene cut in its current state. Afterwards, when you come back to DaVinci Resolve on a different day, you can load the scene cut and continue working on the scene cut detection. What's also quite convenient is that once you make this list of cuts, you can actually save them as an EDL and either send it to yourself or to another collaborator on the project to start using on the self-contained video. After you click Add Cuts to Media Pool, nothing much will happen. If I click the interface and pull it down, I'll reveal that my cuts have now showed up in my media pool, but the interface has remained. So you can now go ahead and shut it down and reveal your entire project and all the individual cuts underneath. From here on in, you can just go into the edit page, click Control A or Command A to select all the clips, and then simply drag and drop them into the timeline. I've now reconstructed the original edit and I can start grading the clips individually. Thank you for watching and until next time.